So if you want to master success in the area of approaching women, flirting with women, or you want to master more money, more abundance, more happiness, more joy, this to me is one of the major principles you have to master. So before we get started, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, and share. Those shares are awesome. They help us to grow the channel. And uh, I really appreciate that. And the comments are amazing. You guys have been putting in a lot of great comments lately, and I really appreciate it. So let's dive in. What is this thing? It's the mastery of understanding what it is to feel. It's the mastery of understanding what it is to feel and work with tension in the environment, in the now, right here, right now. It's not a technique. It's something you literally do in the now. It's something I could be doing right now. As I'm looking at you, looking at the camera lens, talking to you, I'm working on being definitive. I'm working on creating tension between me and you. Now, there's a little bit more to it than that. It's not just a ton of tension because it's just a ton of tension. I'll push you away. If I start to get real mad dogged and overcreate the tension, it's too much. There is a balance to this. There's the right amount of tension. But before I get to that, I want you to understand that with no tension, I would just be kind of lost and floating. So there's this perfect amount of tension in any action that you do that causes the audience to wake up, causes people to connect with you, causes that cute girl to smile. It causes great conversations. And so when you start to master this art, whether you're working on your money reality, whether you're working on a business, whether you're working on a date, everything begins to change. Now I want you to think about a simple principle. Tension seeks resolution, right? So if I apply tension to something long enough, that thing, one of those two has to adapt. Either the tension has to go away, or let's say the rubber band, if I'm pulling on a rubber band, has to eventually stretch out or break. Well, it's the same thing with building muscles, right? If I want to build muscles, I need to apply tension to the muscles. I need to stress the muscles, but in just the right amount of tension. And then I need to rest, I need to repair, I need to eat healthy. So it's this perfect amount of tension applied just at the right time in just the right doses that causes growth. You have just as much need for recovery and rest. So when you look at something that you want to become really good at, how do you look at it? If you're gonna go develop your ability, let's say with meeting a beautiful woman, because a lot of guys on this channel are here for that, and I walk over to the women and I'm walking over because I have a sense of have to, how am I gonna to relate to that tension? I have to talk to her, I have to make it happen. Do you see the force that starts to take me over? You ever had anybody say to you, just be confident? So like, I'm gonna be confident, I'm gonna be confident. And what happens is now the tension is rises in my body, it's too much tension. My whole body becomes tense. I go into my head. I'm like, hi, how you doing? What's your name? Where are you from? And it's a force. Now you're in force. That doesn't work either. So tension is this feeling that's in your body. And most people are in avoidance. They don't want to do the tension. They're kind of lazy. There's, that's too little tension. They're really avoiding the tension. And then some people go crazy with the tension. They step into the tension, they push, they force. And what I'm looking for, for you, if you really wanna make a change in any given area, like in the area I just mentioned, the dating area, or this could be money, or it could be any other area, you've gotta get the balance just right. Just the right amount. So what I would do in that case is, if I walk over and there's too much tension I'm gonna have to, how can I reduce that tension, just like lifting weights, to a healthy level? So when I walk over to say hi to her, what can I do that I can be, it still involves tension, still involves pushing my boundaries, but it's just enough that I can relax enough that I can feel, and this is the key, the emotion inside the tension. You see, every bit of tension seeks resolution and the resolution comes from either stopping the tension altogether, I'm gonna stop working out and I'm gonna sit down, or it comes from feeling the emotion inside the tension. If I walk over and I talk to a woman and I look at her and I relax into my body and I stop walling off, I'm probably going to feel turn on or I'm going to feel attraction or I'm going to feel curiosity. For those of you guys that say I can't feel curiosity and you're locked in your head, that's why. The curiosity comes from the center pillar of the body. So when I walk over to her and I say hi and I'm up here, hey, how you doing? My mind's racing. I can't feel anything. But when I walk over to her and I say hi, and I relax into my heart and let my heart blast wide open, cat courage, acceptance, love, peace, and all those cap emotions, the upper, up top part of the emotional scale, uh, if you know Hawkins' work or you know the revealing process, that's when you begin to 
feel curiosity, appreciation. It's when your heart is open, you step into the tension that causes your heart to open. It's because you're holding that tension, you're creating a conduit that you begin to feel the emotion inside, the appreciation, the abundance. That's where everything happens. You see, the tension is always balanced by the feeling inside the tension, the masculine and the feminine. If there's too much tension, it'll blow the conversation out. If there's too much tension, you get up to build your business every day and you're stepping into all this tension, you're going to burn yourself out. There has to be a balance between the two. There has to be this part of you that falls in love a little bit with your work. Curiosity, appreciation, and you can feel it with your heart. You can let it in. You can start to appreciate it. You feel the tension at first, you go a little too much, and then you practice relaxing into it. This is similar to what I was teaching with the heart walk in last week's video. The heart walk is all about learning to let stuff in and feel it until you get an emotional response. Well, you could do this with anything. You could do this with a conversation. You can do this with your business. You can do this with um, artwork. You can do this with anything you want to create in life, in including for you guys that are dating, because I have so many of you guys on here, walking up and saying hi to a beautiful woman. You feel the difference now. If I lock into my head and I'm like, hi, I just wanted to meet you. What's your name? Or let's say I, I'm going to try to mimic this guy I saw once. He got all nervous and he wanted to talk to these two women that were over here. Walks over. Um, excuse me. I don't mean to bother you, but, uh, you know, there's just something about you. And you can feel that upward energy. That's him trying not to feel his emotions in his body. That's him resisting feeling. If he'd walked over and dropped into his body, opened his heart and said, hey, I just had to come over and meet you. The hey was kind of cheesy, huh? <laughs> it sounded like, I, I immediately thought of uh, Joey Tribbiani. If I walked over and said, <laughs> it probably still would have had fun with it though. I would have laughed. Um, hey, what's up? I just had to meet you. There is something about you. What, what, are, what are you ladies up to tonight? Or what are you eating? You know, and I'd been actually feeling it in the center pillar of my body, curious in my heart, in my stomach. I would have got an interesting response because that's where we feel emotions. So you got to get out of the logical mind and into feeling. And you do that by activating tension. Now the opposite happens too. I used to do this, by the way, the opposite is you go numb when there's no, no tension at all. And if I was to walk over with no tension and I get all zoned out like a zombie and I would, I used to look like a zombie to people and I'd be like, hi, my name's Brian. What's your name? And there's a sense of being stoned on that one. Right. And it just doesn't work either because you can't connect to people. So when I look at the camera right now, if I push too much with the tension, hey, what's up? That's a little too much. I can quickly back off though, open up and become receiving and say, hey, what's up? And start to relax. Or I go back to, hey, what's your name? Where are you from? Feel like a salesman. Come back, relax into the body, open up. Hey, what's your name? Where are you from? And then start to care more. I can even drop down lower into the stomach. Hey, what's your name? And it gets even more interesting. And that's that balance back and forth that I'm dancing with, right? And so you can learn to do this with practice. That's what the heart walk, vulnerability walk starts the process of. And then ultimately the vulnerability walk is about working with people. So as you back out of the tension from doing too much, a little too much, you start learning to calibrate. You say, wait a minute. When I was letting that person in, I could feel them like an emotional response. I could think she was a little sad. I'm going to ask her about that. Hey, are you sad? So now I've got this conduit of tension, this connection of tension to the person, but through the tension, like almost like a wire from you to this other person, you felt her sadness and you got, you asked her a question. Hey, um, is everything okay? And I really did that once. This is where I can share a real story of many times actually, but I think what came to mind was I was in Venice Beach, California. I was at a bar down on Abbott Kenny. And I walked in and I was going around talking to people. And there was this woman sitting at the bar, uh, but kind of behind all these people. And she was just sitting by herself having a drink. And I pushed my way through because I was curious about her. And I got over there and I said, hi. Um, you know, I just wanted to say hi. And she goes, oh, I don't want to be bothered right now. I had a really bad day. And she shut down and went really cold and got heavy. Not cold, like get away, just like sad. And... I don't remember if I sat down right away or if I looked at her. I think I looked at her and said something first. And maybe I said something to the effect of, you know, is everything okay? 
Um, and I don't remember the exact words, but I implied, are you okay in some way, shape or form with my heart? Because I felt it. And she looked up at me and she goes, oh, well, my, my boyfriend just broke up with me. I just found my boyfriend cheating. I can't remember which one it was. And I immediately said, oh, that sucks. And I felt that sadness in my heart and she felt me feel it. And I started talking to her. I said, well, I don't remember. Honestly, the conversation doesn't matter. What, what mattered was I felt her. And I started talking to her, I started chatting with her. I ended up sitting down with her. We ended up talking for like an hour, just having a great conversation. She cheered up so much. She was in the end really grateful that I came over, that I took time to ground her. I didn't sit there and try to flirt with her in that moment. I didn't try to hit on her, but I enjoyed her. I appreciated her. We ended up going on a date the next day. That's the funny part. So we went down to the beach and we played. It was one of those paddle sports. It wasn't tennis, but it wasn't pickleball. We had a great time together and it was fun. So when you learn to listen to people, you learn to feel people, you begin to be able to relate to them more because inside the tension is all this emotion, all this, all the stories, all the interest, all the intrigue, all the curiosity. You know, it's uh, it's the time my friend was painting a painting and he painted this line. He was talking about the line and telling me about this painting, how amazing it was and how beautiful this line was. And then he skipped on and went on. And I asked him, I said, tell me more about the line. And he said, what do you mean? It's just a line on a painting. But if everybody in the room felt the emotions. And he opened up, started talking about this line. And next thing you know, he's almost crying. And he's realizing, you know, I love painting. I haven't painted since since high school. And I just got to get back to it. Well, today he has gallery showings. He's doing his gallery showing in Miami. Because of that, he developed out these amazing painting skills and he's becoming a professional painter for a living. And it's the conversations like that that get opened up when you let people in, when you feel them, when you connect to them through the tension. So you remember, again, I'm connecting into the tension. I'm present with you. I receive you. And then in that tension, I feel the emotion, the feeling, what I often call vulnerability, but not this needy vulnerability. This like, wow, I can feel your emotions. You can feel mine. Let's have a moment together. So how do you do this in business? How do you do this with something that's not a person? Well, it's really simple. You're going to get an emotional response from an inanimate object. When I look at my computer, I get an emotional response in my body. Sometimes I want to push it away. But I sat and released. I let it in. I felt it in my heart and stomach until I could cultivate a really good feeling about the computer. When I looked at my bank accounts, I did the same thing. This is the part, the embodiment part of releasing. When I looked at uh, cash, I did the same thing. I started receiving lots of cash. I remember doing it with the idea of cash in the mail, checks in the mail, things like that. And it literally worked. <laughs> the key was I was in my head before. Now I'm feeling it and releasing the trauma out of the core of my body. And it worked. When I sat down and really looked at my business and really welcomed love for the business and processed all down through here, my whole experience of that business changed. My whole experience of the business, I started to develop some warm, fuzzy curiosity, appreciation for, and suddenly I could work all day and go into flow state. I didn't burn out. I started loving creating these videos more. If you guys have noticed, you maybe have noticed, I smile a lot more when I create these videos. I'm just happier in general because I cultivated happiness for the mundane doing this, doing the dishes, taking out the trash, um, taking a walk, um, hugging my dog. Well, it's not my dog, it's my dad's dog. But uh, you get the idea. And this has really changed my life, really just letting stuff in and cultivating happiness for the moment and cultivating for the stuff I've been resisting, happiness. You, you don't realize that sometimes the thing you want to push away is the thing you love. And that's why you want to push it away so hard because when you let it in, it hurts. And when you process all that emotion, everything changes, right? So that's what it really comes down to. Can you first feel the tension, relax into the tension enough, open it up like, like there's a prize inside, like you're cracking a nut and get to the meat inside the nut or inside the hose is the water, inside the wire is the electricity. I know electricity doesn't exactly work that way, but you get the basic idea. And that's what I'm talking about. It's the balance of that masculine and feminine. And from there, it leads to flow state. From there, your whole reality can begin to change. So hopefully you get the idea of this video. Hopefully you can go out and start calibrating masculine. Walk up to things, look at them and see, 
Do I feel more tension when I look at this tree than I do at the distance? Or how about the comparison of colors? Which causes me more tension, which causes me less? If I relax into that tension and I sit with it and take it in, do I get an emotional response? <laughs> do I get an emotional response looking at the distance, at the walkway here? You know, uh, like, can I feel the openness, the expansiveness in my chest versus I look at the tree and everything gets a little more, as I look, if I focus in on the tree, it's going to get a little tighter, a little more tension. When I walk towards something versus back away from it, the tension's going to change. Start to master the tension at first by moving around and feeling things with your chest, with your stomach, and then relaxing into it. Once you get good at doing that, this is an extension of last week's video, then begin to welcome the feelings that are inside, the emotions that are inside. And then everything will begin to change. So with that said, I want you to go watch the video too, put them together, and then put a comment in this video. Let me know what you think of this. I'm really trying to convey this principle. This is something I usually teach live and we do a lot of work on it, teaching people to really feel, really ground, you know, down into the ground because it's really, that's another caveat. It's really hard to do this if you're not grounding at the earth, if you're not feeling that grounding in the earth. So if you want another video on grounding, I can do a new video on grounding. That groundedness, it's just like having a grounding wire in a car. If you don't have that groundedness in the ground, it's really hard to feel the flow of emotion, feeling and energy that's going on in the world around you. It becomes really challenging. But when you're grounded, the flow through the body begins to happen. And grounding isn't just energy going into the ground, it's energy coming up from the ground, feeding you. That's why it's so important, you know? Um, it's a, it's, it's two, it goes in two directions, just like everything does. Like my connection to you goes out to you and then I receive you back. Everything is flow. And that's how flow state is created. It's literally flow of energy through the body, flow of emotions through the body. Energy and motion is an emotion. And that's how you do it. So watch last week's video. Go over this video. Put a comment in this video. I love those big comments. I really appreciate it. If I don't get to it right away, I eventually always get to those comments within a few weeks of them coming out. Um, and let me know if you want a grounding video or if there's a particular video you want me to do. I got a few to record. I got a mastermind coming up this week. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be really busy in that mastermind, so I need to get a few videos done ahead of time so I can put all my time into my mastermind clients. And uh, with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this. Remember, only the confident really live and uh, have a beautiful day. Oh, by the way, the, the Mississippi, you can't see it. Let's walk over here real quick. There's the Mississippi right out there. And uh, maybe I should include some pictures. I was, on a, I was on my brother's small yacht on the Mississippi last weekend with my dad. It was beautiful. We were tied off to five boats for the 4th of July. It was beautiful out there. But anyways, once more time, remember, only the confident really live. Have a beautiful day.